question 31 we have an organic compound here and we have to get the name of the organic compound and at first it can seem quite you know elaborate but this is actually quite a simple question now the first thing you find out is that when you look at all the options you already know what the functional group is this is an amine you know and the functional group is this nh2 you know functional group so now what now remains is that we have to now use the number of carbon atoms to find out what type of amine it is and so we simply count now this is one this four applies to this carbon so that means there are four carbons here plus this one five and then six and seven and we know that generally the word that's used for seven is hept so that means that this is an heptan heptan amine so that means that our answer will be b question 32 now we have a half cell reaction that is given here the question says the above half cell reaction is occurring occurring at the anode during the electrolysis of dilute zinc chloride solution is now we know that in half cell reactions what occurs at the anode is oxidation you know and at the cathode is reduction so this question is talking about occurring at the anode so we know that it is oxidation that is option b question set three we are given another reaction here we're asked what type of reaction it is you know we're given an addition reaction which is a reaction that has to do with adding certain you know atoms to an already to an already existing molecule we have a decomposition reaction which has to do with losing you know certain atoms we have a condensation reaction and then we have a substitution reaction that substitution reaction is when you know certain atoms are replaced now if you look here you can see that there's one two three there's also one two three now if um sorry you can see that there is one carbon and there are two chlorines right and if you come here you can see that there is also one carbon and the chlorines are unchanged or five to be to be precise because there's four plus one here five this is three plus two which is also five you can see there's one hydrogen here it still remains hydrogen and the carbon here is still carbon so you can see that there was nothing added to it what simply happened was that there was a what a rearrangement a substitution that happened so this is what is known as what a substitution reaction and that is option c substitution reaction question 34 now we have an equation here and we are given a hydrocarbon but without you know the number of atoms you know we don't know the number of atoms that are in this hydrocarbon but we have this equation i want to find you know the hydrocarbon that is here and then so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to find the number of each of these atoms on the product side so we look at this carbon when you come to carbon here you can see that there is four carbons and this is the only carbon here that means that if you look here this is also the only carbon that means that automatically this is c4 so our x is 4. now for a hydrogen 5 times 2 10 that means that this is 10 you know and the hydrocarbon that is c4h10 is what we call butane it is of the alkene functional group you know so that is butane c4h10 option b question 35 says one method of driving the position of equilibrium of an endothermic reaction forward is to and the answer to this is that the way you drive the position of the equilibrium of an endothermic reaction is actually by increasing temperature you know at constant pressure you know that an endothermic reaction is a reaction that you know takes in heat as opposed to an ex exothermic one which releases heat so the best way to drive the position of an equilibrium you know forward is to increase the temperature of this endothermic reaction which is option a question 36 now 0 0.92 grams of ethanol when burned raise the temperature of 50 grams of water by 28.6 kelvin now we are to calculate the heat of combustion of ethanol we're giving the atomic number for carbon to be 12 for oxygen to be 16 for carbon 12 oxygen 16 hydrogen 1 and we're giving the specific heat capacity of water to be 4.2 joules per gram per kelvin now notice that this is in grams these are also in grams so we don't have to do any change to kilograms right so the first thing we do is that we get our parameters out right so we're giving the mass of water 
you know to be 50 the specific heat capacity to be 4.2 and then the the raising of the temperature you know by 28.6 kelvin so the first thing we'll do is that we'll find the heat energy using all this and the formula for heat energy is simply mass times specific heat times you know the change in temperature so the temperature was changed by 28.6 kelvin so we'll multiply all this we get a heat energy of 6006 joules or 6.006 .006 kilo joules right now the next thing we we'll do is that the question told us that the mass of ethanol bonds was 0 0.92 grams and so I will know that the molar mass of ethanol to get the molar mass we add you know each of the atomic masses of this of the components so we know that carbon is 12 multiplied by 2 hydrogen is 1 multiplied by 5 there's 16 and 1 which gives us the molar mass with 46 grams per mole and then that means that the mole we know formula for mole is mass over molar mass so that will be this mass 0.92 all over the molar mass of 46 that means the mole of ethanol that was burnt was 0 0.02 moles and to get the enthalpy of combustion of ethanol we simply divide the heat energy by the mole so the heat energy divided by the mole will give us 300.3 kilojoules per mole thereabouts and but we know that combustion is an exothermic reaction and for exothermic reactions the enthalpy is usually negative so that brings our answer to be a negative 300.3 kilojoules per mole and that is option c question 37 the repeating unit in natural rubber is isoprene that is the answer isoprene which is an uh, option b you know note it is also known that is isoprene is also known as 2 methyl butyl 1 3 diene you know there is like um a structural you know a structural change of isoprene so when you structurally you know rearrange the atoms of isoprene you can rename it as 2 methyl put a one three diet you know so question 38 what current in amperes will you deposit 2.7 grams of aluminium in two hours we're giving them um atomic number of aluminium 27 and faraday's constant to be like 6500 columns the so we get all our parameters the mass 2.7 grams were so the time two hours or um si units for time is seconds so we change to seconds the molar mass of you know is 27 and then friday's constant is 96,500. so now the first thing is that we write the ionic equation so that we know the number of electrons that we are dealing with to be able to get what we multiply by the faraday's constant and when we do that we find that this is three electrons number of electrons n is three so and now to get the to able to the formula for the mass deposited you know is actually the current multiplied by the time by the molar mass divided by the number of electrons multiplied by faraday's constant so we impute all our values from here into this equation and then we end up making i which is the current we are looking for the service of the formula and when you do that you will get your answer to be approximately four amperes which is option c question 39 steam changes the color of an hydrous cobalt to chloride from the answer to this is blue to pick and hydros means that the cobalt to chloride which is an efflorescent substance you know does not have water so what steam does is that steam comes in to add water of crystallization and then cobalt to chloride is usually blue without its water of crystallization but then when steam is added or when water is added it changes to pink so the answer is option a then question 40 which of the following will change when a catalyst is added to a chemical reaction and the answer is the activation energy and what this does is that the catalyst actually provides an alternate pathway for the reaction to occur so that is why what is changing is the activation energy.